Hello fellow commanders and welcome to another Strategic Command World War One with me Bubble Box. We are moving on to October the 24th 1914 letting the AI take its turn once way defeats the Royal Navy at the Battle of Coronel. Okay Serbian Morale Falls usually lost Belgrade. Yeah we took Belgrade in the last turn so Serbia moves its government to its new capital at Nish so we'll be heading for there next. Bulgaria takes an increasing interest in the events in Serbia so we really need Bulgaria on our side. Ottomans are in, the Ottomans prepare for war whether they're in this turn or next turn I'm not sure but they're definitely in. Entente naval units blockade in ports of Germany, oh this is the usual stuff. Fear of German raiders upsets trade in the British Empire. British and Japanese forces capture Tsintao in China. Von Letau Vorbeck defeats the British in German East Africa and we're not interdicted at all fantastic okay so now we just let the AI do its thing the Anzac set sail for Europe the UK sends naval units to deal with Von Spey Graf Von Spey now then how many points have the Serbians got to reinforce? We've taken their capital Belgrade that was a lot of their points down the tubes right there. They reinforce one up to seven. <coughs> okay I did have a quick look at how many units the Serbians have got and it was like I think about eight so they haven't got eight or nine left so not too many to destroy and a lot of them are like garrison units so nothing too strong so I'm really hoping I can take out Serb oh hello our subs run into a battleship which we're gonna do a little bit of damage to which is quite nice yeah hoping to take out Serbia maybe in the next two or three episodes would be nice so I think that battleship kind of just ran into us trying to look for oh now we're gonna get the destroyers okay the destroyers are gonna attack our submarines right now there there we go that's actually a yeah, that's a destroyer. No, that's a cruiser. That's... can't tell the bloody difference. I think they're cruisers. It's going to get absolutely surrounded, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we've got to have to... Luckily, it's not done it any damage. Although it's not diving for some reason. Are going to get another one in? No. Right, okay. So French have got themselves a plane as well as the Brits. And the Brit. Two-star British unit here attacking. I don't know how it got to two stars. I haven't... It's not really done any attacking with the Brits yet. Like, oh, our headquarters got attacked there. I kind of left it there on purpose to block Colomea. Maybe I shouldn't have done, although it has done some damage to these Russian units. So we need to check that out in this turn, hold them at that point. Meanwhile, they're attacking Brussels, attacking our defensive line just south of Konigsberg. So we need to get these guys buffed up and maybe entrenched a bit as well if we can. I don't know if we're going to get any extra units this turn. It would be nice if we did. So quite a few attacks by the Russians this turn. We're going to bring another one in as well. Yep. Be nice to hold on to Konigsberg. Cavalry attack north of Brussels. Historically in the early war there were a lot of cavalry attacks especially up in the north part of uh, Belgium because they were trying to like wrestle along the coast to try and get the ports and so they kept doing like cavalry attacks and um, but by I think you know, as, as they got into the war they, they uh, soon realized that I think it was after around maybe the first six months first year that cavalry attacks just weren't working anymore. But they did play a big part early in the war. Okay. Oh, oh! Thought they were going to attack our um, commander unit again. So we just need to wait for the AI just to reorganise itself. Just shuffling its units around. Oh, little. The Brits have got quite a few units over there in France now. Cavalry, three core, three good core as well, or two good core. One's a two star, and a little uh, garrison-like unit as well, detachment. So it looks like they're setting up their defensive line as well. They're digging in their units in places also. Okay, 
This is where we have to just wait a little bit while the AI thinks, doing a bit of naval reorganizing, just moving its naval units around. There are a lot of naval units. I think uh, in this game, the World War One, there's quite there's like the British Navy is really big, the German Navy is really big, the French Navy is quite big. Uh, the Italian Navy is going to be really big when it comes into the war as well. And all these things have got to be moved around in the AI's turn. So that's what takes a little bit of time. Um, so they're just doing their, finishing off their ground units now they've done the naval. And second army corps, just attrition loss. Oh, that's oh, that nice. That's the uh, Serbians that we've surrounded. And yep, looks like the Ottomans are in. So we're going to have control of the Ottoman Empire and uh, this turn as well. And we'll be able to see what we can do with those. Put some pressure perhaps in Africa on the Brits and maybe even against the Russians as well in the Caucasus. And we've got a few ships to play with as well. So yeah, the Ottomans are in. Brilliant. Indian troops seize Basra. Okay. So they'll be under control of the UK. Indian forces suffer casualties in Basra. Typhus epidemic already. Okay, that's nice. We've just got them into the war. Now they're all getting typhus. Brilliant. Central power raiders disrupt the UK U Russian convoys. Central power. That's us. Brilliant. Entente naval units blockade. Yep, that's the normal stuff. Russian trade can no longer pass through the. Do oh, that's because um, um, the Ottomans are in. Battle of Kokos. Hamas. Sydney sinks the Emden. Sheikh Ul Islam proclaims a jihad against the Entente. Ottoman Finance Minister Mehet, Mehmet Kavit Bey resigns in protest against the war. King George V announces that the British will protect Muslim pilgrimage routes. Okay. Right. I'm going to start off with our naval again. A lot of stuff. Um, but we haven't been interdicted again, so they're not interdicting our lines still with their, with the navy. Our Moroccan, ah, oh, okay. Our agents in Morocco believe the tribes of the Rif are ready to rise against the French. This could be an excellent opportunity to create trouble for the French in Africa. But representatives of the tribes have requested arms, ammunition, and money. Of course, they have, and they are unlikely to act without them. Would you like to spend fifty? It's the Germans. Yeah, we can afford 50 from the Germans. There is a British tanker called the Gwindirwa that was interned at Danzig at the start of the war and could be made into a seaplane carrier. It will cost 100 plus 50 for two turns. Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to lose a few MPPs, but we'll do it. Thousand. Oh, this is the Ottomans this time. Thousands of Georgian Muslims have crossed the border from Russian territory to offer their services in the coming conflict. We could arm them into a detachment... Um, it's only a detachment, but it's only 50. So detachments cost 50 anyway, but we get one immediately, so I'm going to say yes to that. Get ourselves a little detachment there in Baybert. We've also got ourselves another sub. Let's plonk that down straight away. And another battle cruiser. We'll put that down here somewhere also in Kiel. And that's it. So we are going to sort this submarine out. It's absolutely surrounded. And by units here, uh, it's worth doing a little attack. Yeah, it is actually. Um, let's get him out of there a little bit first. And then we'll do a... Oh, I should attack first. We'll do a little bit of an attack there. We'll do one damage, hopefully. Yeah, and don't do any attack. And then we can kind of just kind of run away. And then this guy is going to try and put some distance between himself and all those ships. And go and interdict that line up there. We'll bring another sub up. Oh, we've got some enemy contact right near our coast. Okay, that's a French ship, so we're going to be able to attack that because we've got our battleship down there, our dreadnought. So that is just a destroyer. So let's get this dreadnought up to do some attacking here. Six damage, that's nice. Boom. Unfortunately, we haven't got enough ships probably to finish it off close by. Um, two damage there be nice to finish it wouldn't it shall I bring another ship across that's only six that's six that's a crew oh it's not going to make it ah oh, I don't think this is going to do it though I'm going to chance it we'll bring this destroyer across one damage it's not quite going to take it out unfortunately it's going to just get away 
And this one isn't going to reach, but we'll bring this one over anyway. And what I can do though, I can put my just my bat my um, sub up there. In the oh, we've hit mines! Shit! Took three damage there. Wow. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky, or what? Let's get these back into port actually. And we'll leave that submarine defending up there. I just hope the whole of the British Navy doesn't come down to attack us. Um, yeah, the um, Russians still haven't made an appearance over here. So I'm going to leave my fleet there, though. I'm not going to do anything too drastic with my fleet. Um, and let's get down to Serbia again. So no appearance of ships down here this time from the Brits and the French. So we can continue to attack Serbia. We want to be heading towards Nish next. That's our next big target. Now if we can get rid of this core, would be kind of nice. Our artillery is not in range. Our bombers aren't in range of Nish either. Um, could do a shoot and scoot here. I'll do that first, I think. Yeah, so we'll do an attack there. We can take a little bit of damage back. Takes us down to six. We'll just move that up to there. Then I can bring this unit all the way down here. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's a four hit by the Germans. So he's down. Okay, let's take this industrial complex. Oh, I can't. Wow, okay, really? Well, I can move it down to there. Let's move it down to there. And I would like to get onto that industrial complex, but I can't quite get on there. I can move this one through the gap here. We'll do that. And we'll attack this guy in Pristina. Alright, that's cool. And I can probably... Uh, I'll move this down to there. And I'll move our artillery piece through to there. Nice, okay. That's a nice... So I can attack both of these with the artillery next turn. Gonna move the aircraft down. We'll get shall I get rid of this unit? We'll try and get rid of this unit. Five Wow, okay, let's get rid of that unit. Boom, nice. And then um I'm gonna reinforce these to ten. So they're good to really do some aggressive attack. In fact, why is that? Is that on low supply? Now it's only on five supply, that's why I can't reinforce it properly. So let's bring it down into a reinforcement spot. Let's bring that one forward. We'll bring our aircraft up as well. And to make sure we complete the job, I am going to operate my airship across as well. Mm, where shall I put it? Yeah, we'll operate the airship across. Move this guy down. Move our commander forward. And that is about it. I don't oh I can entrench that guy. I've actually got a strike left, but I think it's not worth it. So we're just gonna entrench that core there. I don't think I can really entrench anything else. Oh I can entrench here. Or I can do a little attack. Uh, I'm not going to attack this turn. Let's entrench. Not worth it. Right, that's pretty good. Okay, the Serbs are definitely creaking under the pressure. Um, we'll try and save more points. Let's just do these, finish the um, Austro-Hungarians out. This guy is going to pull right back. And I'm going to reinforce this one. Up to ten. We'll do an attack here down a point take some damage back okay now then over here we need to sort this little problem out um it'd be nice to kill this something it'd be nice to kill something you know just something anything okay let's pull you back to there put our cavalry on there i'm not going to attack though I'm going to attack this one. And I'm going to move my cavalry forward. A little bit of a probing attack as well. And I'll move them back. 
and I'm gonna hmm actually I might pull these to the la to the right attack here I'm gonna attack there and then I think these cavalry will get a slight advantage maybe just a 2-2 two -two. we'll do that anyway do them a bit of damage and I might no I can't bring any more units over all right we're gonna leave that at that I'm gonna reinforce this one that's on right up on the front line and we're gonna leave that one at seven Yeah, that's going to have to do for the Austro, uh, uh, yeah, for the Austria, Hung Austria, Austro-Hungarians. So that's that done. That's that done. Let's do the Western Front next. So we're kind of defending here now. Got all the Brits have come in on the scene. So we need to set up our, make sure we keep our nice defensive line here, um, and just attack if we get the opportunity. I mean, that's a two-four. That's got to be worth it, hasn't it? Trouble is I haven't really got any tens to swap here, but I can do a two. Yeah, we'll do a two four. Bang in there, and then one three. Yeah, we'll take that shot. A bit of damage back. Okay, I've got a ten here. I could slip in there. Um. I'm wondering if I could, if I put it there, I could swap it. I'm going to try that. Can I swap? I don't think I'll be able to attack, but I think I can... Oh, come on, I think I can swap. Yeah, I'm going to swap because that's a 10 then on the front line. So that's definitely worth it. Put that 7 in a slightly... Set. Wow, 5. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm too tempted. I'm going to do it. Oh, took him out. Nice. Took some damage back. Now is there any... I can get that one in there and I can replace that with that. So let's pull this one out. I'm going to slip this one up there. I'm not going to... Oh, I can get that 11 in there. Look, I get my cab in there. Okay, let's pull that one back. Get this 11 in there. I might be able to finish this guy off. Down to two. Now I need another strong unit in there. I can put the 11 cavalry in. But that's not a good place. I can put it in there though. Oh no, I can't. No, I'm not going to chance it. I'm just going to hold position where I am. I might even pull this one back, you know. Tempted. Then I'll leave this one open though. So no, I'll leave that one there, but I'm going to reinforce him to max. And he has got an entrenchment there as well. So then we can concentrate down here a little bit. We've got this French unit and this British unit. Who's the weakest? Well, they're both the same, but this is this is like a two-star. Uh, yeah, let's attack this one. Do the Brits some damage. Five, wow. Oh, took him out. Nice. Took a little bit of damage. Now, what about this one? Four damage there. Boom. Now then. I'm going to replace that with the cavalry. Hmm. Can we finish this guy through? Yeah, we'll do that because he's in a... Yeah, he can take some losses. That's okay. And then we can probably finish it with the cavalry. Yeah, okay. That's another core down. Then we just need to put something in here that's a reasonably high level. Probably. He's already entrenched two. We'll put this one. We'll put this one in. Yeah, we'll put that one in. Should survive. Okay, that's it, I think, for the Western Front. Done some more damage to the enemy. And I'm going to need to buff a couple of units at least to replace the front line. So let's give you up to a 10. You're a 10 already, so you're there. Maybe this one. And then we need a couple in the south as well. Can we entrench or reinforce anybody? Seems oh we can we can oh no he's already entrenched that's okay 
is already entrenched. Can reinforce. Let's reinforce one from back here. Let's reinforce this guy. And uh, this one. Okay, so there. that's kind of good for next turn, I think. That's not got any... I might swap that, actually. I can swap that. Can I? No, I can't. Can I swap them? I can. Yeah, I'll swap those two. Just put a slightly better unit on the front line. I haven't used my bomber. Let's just use that real quick. Alrighty. Okay. Let's get over to here. Oh, I forgot to move this commander as well. Let's do that while we're thinking about it. Oh, they've moved their cavalry forward, so we might be able to do that some damage. Oh, yes, indeed. Boom. Stay where you are, my friend. Stay where you are. Right, now here we need to boost this line for sure. And in fact, I might pull this guy back. And then reinforce the rest. So if I reinforce this one... I'm going to reinforce rather than entrench because I think they really need the points. I'm going to entrench this one though. Yeah, and we'll pull this one back behind the lines. I'm going to elite reinforce that one. Right, that's all good. That's good. I think that's about everything done, everything moved. Quick check. Yup, 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 yup. Haven't less missed anything. Um, let's see what we've got coming up before I finish. Where are we? November the 21st, 1914. November, November, November. So we're going to get a couple more ships in December. And then early next year, it's more ships. And we're going to get a railgun by the looks of it. Some artillery. Not too many infantry and stuff though. Yeah, some random units, mainly shipping and planes and artillery for those. And the Ottomans get nothing. Oh, God, that's it. Ottomans, I nearly forgot. Glad I didn't finish. Glad I checked. We've got the Ottomans to sort out as well and our research to do. Now, the Ottomans are going to be up against the Russians here. Um, the Brits did land something down here, so we need to send something down there to counter that. And I'm probably just going to send some horses down there just to block them down there um, we've got a leader everything's a little bit under strength here for the Ottomans they can also get ready for an attack on Greece perhaps once yeah once Bulgaria's in how far is Bulgaria to get into the war we're going to do diplomacy soon as well 59% so they're coming along nicely oh how, where is Romania as well which is more to the point so yeah at the moment Bulgaria's going to come in sooner than Romania which would be really nice for us um, right so that's going to go down to there now down here let's see going to want these down to fight the Brits so that will actually fit into Gaza won't it I wonder if there's anything in Al Arish no so we've got that okay then we'll fast move this down fast move this guy down as well so that means Nekil's probably no one in that as well right okay that's cool don't think we can entrench yes we can brilliant okay send a commander down as well and then these I'm going to put on the ports so we'll send them down because it's better that they're on the ports because we don't want the enemy to capture a port. Don't worry about them too much. Because the Brits could do landings anywhere along here. And I don't mind if they capture anything as long as it's not a port. Because we don't want them to have access to supply. That's that. Now then. I think I'm going to defend a bit up here. Until we get more units in play. So I'm going to just entrench here. I'm going to entrench this guy here. And I'll move this one down to here. Trench. Trench. I'll leave that there. I'll move this forward. In fact, we can move this. 
I'll leave that there. It could go in either direction as and when needed. Le oh, actually, we probably need to put that into that port for reasons already explained. That port's covered. And we've got a leader here. We'll leave this leader here because they can kind of help out with Greece. We'll leave our fleet for now hidden in there. Don't think there's any route through the Dardanelles without capturing these. I don't think. We could go and hunt down the Russian Navy, but we're a bit weak at the moment. Probably want to be more um, up at tens before we do that, because I think the first thing is to keep the research going. So let's do the research. Let's research the Ottomans. We're going to go another one into spying and intel. Um, infantry is full, infantry is full. Um, and then I think we're going to go industrial tech. Okay, leaves us with just 31 points, so I will just reinforce my commander a little bit. Right, good. Now then. Let's see. The Austro-Hungarians. Need to keep that industrial tech going, I think. Actually, they need trench warfare as well. Let's put ticks into trench warfare for the Austro-Hungarians. And then for the Germans... We will go okay. We've got in we've got advanced subs up to full, we've got that up to full, we've got that up to full. Naval warfare, industrial tech, spying intelligence. Wow, we've got all the stuff we really need desperately. And then I think we can probably start on uh, we'll go for naval weaponry so we can keep up with the Brits. I think we'll go for naval weaponry. Leaves us a few points to spend, so we're going to just quickly. Have I actually done these? Yeah, I did. Um, reinforced that one, I think. Takes him up to seven. And for the Germans, we can reinforce one more unit a little bit. That one will do. Yep, that's it. That's all our MPP spent. So that's it, I think. We'll continue to try and get Nish next turn, maybe, and down in Serbia. So thanks very much for watching. hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give us a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in the next one.